Welcome to my hike across Switzerland on the Swiss Panoramic Trail. We're gonna be checking out St. Gallen. And that's why the library is here. This is, and these are all, you know, 16, 15, hundreds. Well worth the visit. Look at this, we are outside the Appenzeller Cheese Factory, Quesaria. We're about to go on inside, but before we do, Swiss cheese trails, of course. How great it is it? We're out here checking out cheese, and we're just a little off trail. So I have a map right here of the area. So St. Gallen is up here, and Appenzell is right here. This is the Alpstein, Alpstein Massive. So segment number three goes from Appenzell, like this, and then down. And so we did this, well, I've done it. Um, that's coming up still, it hasn't been released on video yet, but this is where we were. When we are hiking here, Stein, which is where we are right now, is right here. We can't see it because of this ridge here. So you're not going to be able to actually see this town of Stein while we're hiking. However, you can see the Alpstein Massive, Santis Peak, and a few other uh, landmarks. So it's pretty exciting to at least get a, an idea of where we've hiked, where we're going to hike, where this sits within the middle of the region. And this is really right in the middle of the region. Uh, I think all of the the meadows that we certainly pass through, uh, it's pretty easy to get that milk into the farm and then from the farm here. So let's go in, check out some cheese, see how it's made, look forward to it. All right, so the way this uh, property is set up is we have the museum here first, and then the restaurant, the gift shop, and then the factory. Now we're gonna go to the factory first. By all means, try to take some time so you can go to the restaurant. Uh, because they, they're sell, serving cheese dishes that are going to be pretty good. So I'm going to try to get in to the restaurant see if they're serving. Uh, but before I do that, it is 2 o'clock here and they stopped making cheese at 3. So I want to go in and do my tour. And hopefully we'll get some video. All right, here we are at Eppenzeller Cheese Casari. It's part of the tour. They give you some samples. There's five samples in here a gift of herbs so i'm really excited i can smell it through the mask and uh, presumably these are the herbs that are growing nearby and that go into the milk and make cheese unique flavors they also give you if i can find it a key to open up mystery boxes as we go along the tour so we'll see how that works out this is the kitchen, so to speak, down below. We'll get some better pictures as we go. All right. All right. There's a nice guided tour with QR tags. And the first thing we're asked to do is try the mild. Mm. Great fondue cheese. Uh, yeah. I like to do it two bites to kind of clear my palate, get myself set up. Then. I can really taste it. Now, since they've given us a spice rack in the bag. Should help to get those flavors. Oh boy, those are all loose. <laughs> this is a bag of spices. Now they say we can put it in fondue and raclette and other types of foods. Um, I'm gonna definitely bring this back with me. You know I love to cook, so now I have some actual spices from the cheese gallery. Right, I'm going to put my samples away and move on to the next stage. I'm 
right back because the second stage is to try the strongest spiced. So we're getting the full range right up front. Wow. So we have a little fresh soy going. Mm. That is strong. There's a cracker cheese that holds up to it by itself. Just filling the whole mouth with different flavors. I think there's a lot of thyme in here. This is the purple label. So I was hiking with the purple label. And it was a lot like this. This is a great cheese. This is. You, you just got to come up here and try it. Highly recommend it. So that's been aged nine months. The first one was aged three months. Huge difference between three and nine months. Amazing how quickly this matures. Mm.